Now, why are you looking like that, girl? You had two fine men fighting over you. Now, you better smile. <laughs> but it's something about that piccolo. I can't put my finger on it. He's thuggish, scandalous, pimpish, gangsterish, and hooliganess. But he's so fine. Ooh. First of all, you'll need to stop talking about people that you don't even know. What the hell are you looking at? That's all you got from his mouth almighty? <laughs> Look, yo, A, Piccolo is not my man anymore, okay? And two, Wait, I don't, don't you mean B? <laughs> and two, Charmaine and Gina are right. He acted like he always acts when he doesn't get what he wants, and that's like a Joe Hood. Uh, I can't believe this. First you leave us, you leave the crew to come to college to educate yourself. Now, I can get with that. It's cool. But then you start running around with these people like Choir Boy and these two fake females taking hey, their no, side. No, 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 I know you didn't say that. Hold it, hold it. Hold it. Now, first of all, I'm not on anybody's side, OK? <laughs> now, Yolanda, you're my girl, OK? Understand that I'm here just trying to get an education. All right, I'd rather be here than out on the corner doing absolutely nothing, ending up with a city job. So it's like that? I guess so. When the Lena James that I know comes back, won't you tell her to call me? And ain't nothing wrong with a city job. You all right, Lena? Fine. <clears throat> Thanks, Lena. Not too many people would stand up for me like that. You're welcome. And I really can't believe I heard those words come out of your mouth about me. And furthermore, Charmaine! <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> Lena James, what's wrong with you? What? The inventory check. You actually did it right. Yeah, I took stock this morning. Not of everything, young lady. If you had, you wouldn't be standing there looking so sad. Look, don't let the past interfere with your wonderful future. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that Darwin is a fine young Christian boy, and he's a good influence on you, too. Take the rest of the day off. No, nah, Mr. Gaines, I think I'm going to, you know, just kick it here and work. You want to work? Now I am worried. <laughs> hey, Lena, what's happening? Mr. Wayne, can I ask you a question? Mm-hmm. Do you think I'm bougie? You asking the man that married Whitley Gilbert. <laughs> Thanks, anyway. Oh, wait, now hold on for a second. If you mean by bougie have you changed, I'd have to say yes. Oh, Lena, you sound like me four years ago. It's not a bad thing. Well, it can't be such a good thing either, because I'm losing all my homes. Hey, Lena, I had a partner, Daryl, who I've known since we were toothless, OK? <laughs> he started investing some money in some businesses in our old neighborhood. Wanted me to do the same. I had my own plans. Called me a sellout. I called him a hypocrite. So then what happened? Nothing. I haven't talked to old boy since. <laughs> and it still bothers me every now and then, but then I realize he had to follow his road, I gotta follow mine. But y'all were boys. I mean, y'all grew up together. You Lena, know, each other it, since be, you were kids. it bees that way sometimes. You know, maybe one day I'll pass across again. Until then, I'm Dwayne Sellout Wayne to him. <laughs> well, I hear you, Mr. Wayne. Mm. Thanks a lot. Here. Hey, you got it. Uh, Mr. Gaines, Good. I think I'm gonna uh, take you up on that offer, okay? Oh, all right. Now, that's the Lena James I know.